Hey guys, I'm Nikki. And I'm Gabby. And we're back, back together. <laughs> In today's video, we're doing another photo shoot challenge, but with a twist. This time, we're only using our phones, which means no professional photographers or our boyfriends behind the lens, and we have to use self timer. So it's on us to create bomb ass photos. And Nikki already has an advantage because she's been using her little selfie stick timer thing <laughs> she's if you watch her channel she has a video that she just posted about her secrets behind her instagram photos and she introduces you guys to this iphone stick and that way she doesn't have to have me or friends or whoever take her pictures for her anymore so they, how annoying they, am i with my selfie stick doesn't bother me actually i kind of like it how many times a week would you say i use it a lot this is my first time using an iphone stick it's just a tripod do you have one I, I got one for this video. Aww. You're gonna become addicted. So no one's allowed to hold the camera for us. We literally have to put the phone on the stand, set up the timer, and pose. So the way we're going to do this challenge, to make it fair, is that we're going to have three categories. The first category is summer, because it's summer, and we need to bring some summer vibes to this channel. The second category is indoor. And the third category is artistic. Something that could pass as an album cover that's a little more outside the box. We were just like... <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into the video. For the summer vibes, I'm actually so happy this came in the mail. I ordered it for a small clothing brand haul on my channel. I got the cutest cover up and I accidentally ordered only bikini bottoms but these were the bottoms. I'm just gonna use this mint bikini top because I feel like it goes with this. And then I have this really cute cover up top and then I have the tie around bottom. So pretty, it gives me mermaid vibes. I feel like it'll look really good with my hair. I envision taking the summer photo at, in my parents' yard at their pool. They have a beautiful ginormous pool and I picture a lot of blues in that photo. Okay guys, so I'm loving my new outfit. It's beautiful. This is the perfect lighting and I have my early 2000s light blue sunglasses. But yeah, enough talking, let's not waste this sun. Ready, 10 second timer, go. love these photos and what's even cooler is I didn't have a photographer doing all this cool stuff and honestly iPhone qualities are just getting so good like this looks professional so for my summer pick I'm gonna wear this Chanel polo it looks like a tennis shirt and I'm gonna wear these silk shorts and sneakers and I'm just gonna find a spot outside. Um, maybe Colin and I will go on a drive in his Jeep and try to find like a cute area downtown that looks like it would go with this outfit. So I am going to be doing something really embarrassing. Nikki does this on the regular. I don't know how she does this. I am in like the downtown area where I live and I'm gonna be carrying the selfie stick with me and try to figure out where on the street I'm gonna take a picture. No, just do it. Literally, literally, literally. Just do it. recently just bought these really really cool lights that project onto the wall and you can change the colors on your phone and I have this envision of using a red or royal blue light and just doing something really cool in my hallway but yeah all right so we're about to do some cool lighting evil vibes hopefully when I'm editing the photo I can come up with something even cooler to add but I'm just starting with a base with this lighting Cool, but I don't like my, the way my bun's pressed against. <gasps> Nate, this is it. 
I'm not gonna get too cocky yet though because I think Gabby's hella creative and I'm actually really excited to see what she did. Vogue challenge it has been a thing this week so if you don't know what that is you just take like an artsy photo or you dress like something a model on a Vogue would wear and you stand in front of like a blank wall or an artsy wall um, so this is my artsy concept I have my handy dandy button wait it takes a photo oh my god it really takes a photo okay <laughs> trying to do that what is this Whatever that it was. Now I'm gonna try to take some in front of this headboard. indoors I think quarantine like what I've been doing stuck inside and honestly that's just been hanging out in my new orange bathroom I envision just like the most casual outfit almost like an oversized t-shirt with a lot of necklaces maybe some sunglasses maybe my hair in a messy bun just chilling in the bathtub in the orange bathroom looking through some magazines maybe even in the editing portion maybe add some like sparkles to what I'm wearing. I feel like I'm gonna take the indoor photos in like a boring location, like an orange bathroom, but I'm gonna play it up with the editing. So we have pillows in the bathtub. We're gonna make them purposely be seen, like I'm just hanging out with pillows in the bathtub. We have my collection of Playboy magazines. I'm gonna be flipping through. Got my half-eaten Ben and Jerry's that I keep in the freezer. And we're just gonna give off hardcore period vibes. And I think the hardest part is gonna be Getting up, pressing the timer, sitting back, getting up, like, because I'm sitting and it's like Why a Why did you just have me do it? Because of, that's breaking the rules. So, without further ado, let's use the self timer. 10, 9, 8, oh, oh no, fail. I'm just posing. That's a fail. For my indoor pick, I think I want to take like a spa-esque kind of photo and I'm gonna wear this top and maybe have these like as a prop in the background or something. But yeah, I'm just gonna like pose in a bathroom. I've never done that before. I saw Nikki do that and I kind of want to try it. Hey guys, so in the beginning of this video was pre-op. I'm post-op right now. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my vlog channel after this video. I had surgery, that's why I'm wearing sunglasses. Um, so yeah, if you're interested to see what I had done, make sure to go check that out. But the show must go on and I'm ready to reveal my pictures to Nikki. On a one, two, three, let's first send each other the summer pick because that's like the most basic. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, ready? Wait, there we go. You're having ready? a hard time seeing? So <laughs> 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 <A little> bit. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready? Set. Set. Go. Go. Oh my god, wait. That looks like you had your boyfriend follow you around to a cute shop and he took a photo of you. So you just set up a tripod outside of a shop? Yeah. That's bomb. And I got so many stairs, like in Bethlehem, PA. Like the stairs were like so bad. But it's so I thought, cute. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if people were making TikToks. Like I literally was standing in front of a tripod on the sidewalk dressed like that. And my boyfriend's filming me taking pictures of myself on my tripod. It's funny. What do you think? What do you think about mine? I thought that looks like it's like Nate took it. Like that does not look iPhone. That does not look iPhone. Colin, really? look at this picture. It's cute. 
It was really good. The next photo, we, sh we should do artsy last. We should do um, indoor next. This one was hard for me because I feel like over quarantine, I've taken photos in every part of my apartment. That's how I felt too. So like I had to get creative and I tried editing this one a little different because indoors is kind of boring. So here's mine. Same. Oh, yours looks so retro. Wait, we both went retro. We both did bathroom retro. What the <laughs> hell? For indoor? They, wait, wow, like we did the same vibe. vibe. Whoa. That's buggy. We're actually on like the same page. What? What the hell? I like how you edited that. I love that. I love these. I like. I think I like these better than the outdoor ones. I think we turned into like master photo shoot artists like during quarantine. During quarantine. <laughs> That's the whole point of this video. Like we don't need anyone after. Like we became so self-reliant. All right, ready? All right, let's send the next one. I'm excited for one, you to see this. What's the last one's category? Artsy. Artsy. Ready? I'm so excited. I'm so proud of this. <gasps> Wait, that's, oh my God, this is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> that is not on a tripod on your phone. Yes, it is. What? That looks like Mike took that. That's insane. Wow. What did you do to get like a fire truck red light? I bought uh, light projectors for my hallway so I can make cool like oh, yeah, fashion videos. Oh yeah, you've been using videos. those. That looks so cool. Honestly, we both like took the same vibe for the bathroom one, but our outdoor ones are so different. And like our artsy ones are so different. I like our artsy ones. Me too, that was you, my favorite one. Yours? I think the close up one is my favorite. Wow, we <laughs> killed this. Yes! By the way, we don't wanna just gloss over the last upload. Um, we are very aware that we do a lot of like sister versus sister challenge competition videos And I feel like we've gotten specifically into the sister versus sister challenges during quarantine because we haven't been able to physically film together but Those videos aren't what takes a toll on our relationship I feel like people in the comments were like stop doing the sister versus sister videos It's hurting Nikki's self-esteem like if you watch the video we uploaded before this there's a whole backstory and I don't know we like to do these challenges i enjoy them these kind of videos aren't the reason for that situation and if you watch the video you would know why we are the way we are and it has nothing to do with these kind of videos actually these videos bring us closer because yeah we both like have so much fun with them and like we have like the same hobbies and interests and like ju there's just like a breath of fresh air on this channel i feel like back in the day was when everything was kind of like not what we wanted back in the day gabby and i felt like we had to film literally the same type of video together whether it was a video she didn't want to do or i didn't want to do if one of us wanted to do it we had to do it but why we like these videos is because she can be a hundred percent gabby and i can be a hundred percent nikki and we can add a hundred percent of our styles and show our homes and cut the footage together i don't have to be a neon oversaturated gabby i can be literally like muted nude blush black and white and I, I think it's really cool that we can like show our different styles through these challenges so like it this these don't cut into our feelings like they don't i really enjoyed this video we hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out my surgery vlog after this i don't know when it's going to be uploaded but it's going to be uploaded within like the next three days of posting this video so just stay tuned for that on my vlog channel and make sure to watch my glam sweet makeover video that's going to be up you guys can see the whole transformation this is like my girl wing comment down below any ideas you guys have for this channel and we'll see you guys in our next video bye bye guys